Hey everyone, I want to bring you uh, some insider information from the second P. And in UPP, it's the people, the processes, and the promotion. Excellent people, world-class processes and systems, and simply promote the heck out of it. So the second P, I want to bring you something from the inside uh, because I hear this and when I ask a question when people are coaching with us, both either live or online, I say, tell me about your production law. And that's what I get, silence, which tells me they may not have one. Or they say, yeah, I've got a production log. I said, tell me more about it. Tell me about exactly what you can pull on your production log. And how long have you had a production log, et cetera, et cetera. Let me tell you why it's important. Because that's really where the rubber hits the road. Because in talking to people about growing their business, about exploding their business. You know, it's the historical data. And here's the bottom, there's the other bottom line. Data is king or queen. Let me say it again. Data is king or queen. You've got to have data. You need to have lots of it. And it's gotta be clean data. So when people are talking about growing their business, I'll say, well, what have you done historically over the last one to three years? How have you gotten new business? And if they haven't been in business that long, it's a whole other situation. But if you've been in business, let's say hypothetically three or more years, I'll say, how have you gotten your business over the last one to three years? Pull up your production log, show me what you've got. And at that point, that's what I get. Not many, many times, and that's what we wanna help people with, is make sure you have a production. That is in place, that is used consistently by every team member filling in every blank on the production log properly because that's where it starts and when you have that historical data it really tells you where to invest your money because these are new customers who are now trusting you with money money follows trust and all you do is look at the production log and say hey this is what's working you should keep investing more money in that source until it dries up. It's really that simple. So let me give you some ideas on what should be on a production log. So of course, the date that you wrote the business, the name of the customer, the name of the business, if that's the case, but you want the policy type, okay? And if you're writing package business, how many policies did you write for that particular item? You want to add the insurance company that you're placing the business with as well. That's important. You want to list the premium. I don't personally think it's that important to list the commission. Most importantly, it needs to be team facing. Team facing. Every team member must have access to the production log. They must be trained on how to use the production log in the agency business every single day. And there must be built in accountability. Okay. So you add the premium, you need to, and this is the one of the most important things, you got to have a clear directional on how they list the source of the business. You don't wanna make it too complicated, but you want to be as specific as possible, okay? And of course the producer, the person who actually sourced and or produced the business is important. And here's the one that consistently cause me to, I don't know, anxious is the word or fire me up or whatever we want to call it. But we added a column on called the real reason they came to us. And that's what I wanted to know. The real reason they trusted us with their insurance program. There's a real reason. Now, the unfortunate thing is a lot of people in the world aren't willing to do the work to really dig to get the real reason. It's so easy. They came to it. They switched us because of price or they switched us because of, you know, protection. Uh-uh. There's something else there. You got to keep digging. I want to know. They were unhappy with the agent. The agent didn't return calls. Uh, the agent lost the appointment with the company. I mean, it's a myriad of things. But the reason that's important is because that tells you how to craft your marketing messages. If you saw our segment on the three M's, that tells you how to talk to the marketplace. So important. And we're happy to help you deep, dig into this deeper. I hope this has helped you. 
Make sure you get your production log in place, firing on all cylinders, train your team, and more. We just want to help you become unstoppable. What's happening, UPP Nation? Joel here with your UPP team. Are you ready to take a deeper dive into the three Ps, people, processes, and promotion to find out what they can do for your agency? You're in luck. February 24th, the next UPP Fast Start live virtual event is happening. It's a six hour small group setting for you to dive into the three Ps and find out what they can do for your agency business. What are you waiting for? Check the link below to get signed up today. My name is Mike Stromso. I'm widely recognized as the leading author, speaker, and coach for the independent insurance agency industry. You can find me at unstoppableprofitproducer.com. If you're interested in attending a virtual or live event, please visit uppfaststart.com or be unstoppable bootcamp.com. I want to share with you some of my best money-making strategies proven over 35 years of research in our industry to help you grow your business, create wealth, so you can have more freedom to live life on your terms.